You've probably heard of albino animals, but what about their opposite? Melanistic animals have an excess of a pigment called melanin that makes their skin, hair, or fur very dark, or in some cases, completely black. Penguins are easily identifiable by their trademark tuxedo coloring, but in extremely rare cases, melanism can make them all black. Lucky wildlife watchers spotted this completely black king penguin among a sea of other black and white birds in the British territory of South Georgia. Any kind of melanism is rare in penguins, but one expert told the National Geographic that the odds of one that's completely black are one in a zillion. Perhaps one of the most popular melanistic creatures is the mysterious black panther. But the black panther isn't a single species, the name actually refers to any very dark member of the panthera species, including jaguars and leopards. Melanistic spotted leopards and jaguars still have the typical patterns, but they're just harder to see because of the coloring. Black wolves are basically the same as regular gray wolves, except for their color. Some genetic researchers hypothesize they get their dark coloring from the same gene mutation that makes dogs black, and the mutation was passed on during dog-wolf hybridization. Interestingly, these wolves actually turn gray as they age. The melanistic wolves are mostly found in North America and seem to thrive in forested areas where they make up about 62% of the wolf population, though scientists aren't sure why. No, that's not Photoshop. Every part of this exotic chicken is black, including its internal organs and bones. The sleek-looking onyx bird is called Ayam Simani and found mostly in Indonesia, where it's believed to have spiritual powers. But demand is now so high for the rare bird that a single chicken can sell for thousands of dollars on the black market. Barn owls are generally pale in color, often appearing completely white at night. But ever so often darkly colored individuals like the one in this picture are born with melanism caused by 100,000 to 1 genetic mutation, according to the Telegraph. Unlucky melanistic barn owls often don't last long in the wild, as their mothers often refuse to feed them and force them out of the nest. If you live in Canada, the United States or the United Kingdom, chances are you've probably spotted a black squirrel before. They've actually been introduced to the wild in hopes of increasing their numbers. Black squirrels are eastern gray or fox squirrels that have a genetic mutation. They can range from jet black to brownish black. Red foxes with melanism are called silver foxes. Their fur is sometimes completely black or mixed with dark, silvery gray and patches of white. Silver foxes were often domesticated and their fur was actually considered to be highly valuable. Quite a few species of snakes have melanistic individuals, including king cobras, rat snakes, and adders. Black adders may actually have an advantage as their dark coloring allow them to warm up faster and hunt on days that would be too cold for other snakes. The increased feeding time means they can grow faster and larger than lighter colored adders. However, their dark colors are harder to camouflage. Even without their jet black coloring, these Australian lizards are already pretty weird. They have blue tongues which they stick out at enemies as a warning signal. But add in an extra dose of melanin and you've got these babies that look like something out of a sci-fi movie. This may just be the rarest of all. A black flamingo was spotted at the Akrotiri Environmental Center in Cyprus in 2015, and may be the only one of its kind in the world. Flamingos have long fascinated people with their pretty pink coloring, which comes from pigments in the crustaceans and algae they eat. But a surplus of melanin means this bird's feathers are almost totally black, except for a few patches of white on its butt. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos.